guys, I need you to make sure that you have your highlighters and make sure that you have your writing utensils. So today what we are going to do is we are going to be discussing section four of American Revolution and it is going to be the war in the South that basically we will be discussing today. All right, the British have decided that they need to move the war to the South. You know, they've kind of been, the battles of Saratoga kind of made it where they were not going to get the New England colonies, and they decided we will have better luck in the South. And there are three specific reasons, you need to highlight these, memorize them, they will be on the test, three specific reasons why they moved the war to the South. Number one, they believe most Southerners were loyalists. You know, whenever you had a lot of uh, trade issues or whatever, the Southerners weren't as affected by it. And you probably did have a larger number of Southerners that were loyalists. Number two, they expected large numbers of Southern slaves to join them. What they did was they offered them freedom if they would join the British Army. So if you were a Southern slave, would you do that? Yeah. Yes, you would. I do believe the Continental Army did offer some freedoms also. But the British Army definitely did. And Britain has colonies in the West Indies that already have soldiers. And so what they can do is they can easily transport soldiers by ship from the West Indies to southern seaports. So therefore, the British are going to be able to have fresh soldiers coming in all of the time. It's easy to get them there. Is this a good reason to move the war to the south? Yes or no? Yes, it is. In December of 1778, the British are going to capture the port of Savannah, Georgia. When they capture the port of Savannah, Georgia, it's just going to be easy right then if they've got that port to just keep moving soldiers in all of the time throughout the South. Okay? So that's going to kind of set things up in the South. Now in 1780... What's going to happen is the British Army is going to trap American forces in Charlestown. I need you to underline Charlestown. What is Charlestown today? Charleston. Charleston. So they captured American forces or trapped American forces in Charlestown, which is the largest southern city, Charleston, South Carolina. That city had 5,000 defenders, basically the entire southern army and they surrendered, okay? So we lost, the Americans lost our entire Southern Army. This is our worst American defeat of the war. And so this is what we're looking at. George Washington and his army are in the middle and New England states, basically. So the South, where they're moving in troops all of the time now, guess what? We just lost our army. How are we going to fight? We're obviously going to have to try to build up a new army in the South, but it's going to be really, really hard to do that. Okay? Now, Horatio Gates is the general that Washington has assigned to form a new Southern army. Okay? And Lord Cornwallis is going to be the British general in South Carolina. How many of you out there in the land of virtual and in the classroom have ever seen the movie The Patriot? Okay, a few of you. So if you watch or you listen to today's lesson, um, you will definitely see some connections to the movie The Patriot and what it was based off of. Uh, Lord Cornwallis was one of the big people in The Patriot, one of the big characters in The Patriot. Okay, and uh, for those of you at home in virtual, those of you in the classroom, I, I really do recommend The Patriot. It's a little bloody. I'm not going to, you know, deny that, but it's a very good American Revolution movie. Okay, so here we have Lord Cornwallis and Horatio Gates. Now, Horatio Gates goes up, basically, um, outside of Camden, not Arkansas, but he goes up against the British Army in an open field. Can we fight in an open field? No. So basically what happens, he takes our new southern army. You know, the 
we only had 5,000 that surrendered. This is now our new ones. He goes up against Cornwallis in a field, and we're out of supplies. We're half starved. He put inexperienced militia on the front line. They fled. If the British were in an open field and they were coming at you firing and you were inexperienced, would you run too? Yes, I would have. I would have been like, no, I'm going to run and hide behind something. I'm not going up against you in an open field. Gates should have known better. And this defeat ended his term as head of the army. And so now what we have is no southern army yeah. and no head of a southern army. So how are we even going to fight against the British in the South? What we have is we have a man by the name of Francis Marion. Francis Marion, you need to highlight. He is known as the Swamp Fox. So does this tell you kind of the area that he lives in? Okay? Known as the Swamp Fox. He leads a small band of men, and they do five things. Y'all ready for this? Because you got to know it on the test, these five things they do. So what, what Francis Marion does, because we literally have no southern army, so we just have small bands of men doing different things. This is Francis Marion. He and his men, they sleep by day. They travel by night. Then they jump out of the swamps and they attack. And then they retreat back into the swamps. Now, you're a British soldier. Are you a little nervous when you're in that area of South Carolina? Yeah. Would you get much sleep? Yes or no? No, you wouldn't. What we have resorted to in the South because of a lack of an army is we're using guerrilla warfare. Highlight this. This is small bands of fighters who weaken the enemy, not the enemy, the enemy, with surprise raids and hit and run attacks. We're going to weaken them because they can't sleep. They cannot rest. No rest for the weary. And so they never know when Francis Mary and his men are going to jump out and attack. And they're used to this gentlemanly way of fighting. They don't understand guerrilla warfare. And that's not an honorable way of fighting to the British. However, is it our only way of fighting? Yes, it is. Is it going to be effective? Yes, yes it will. Here we have Francis Marion. 